Hey, stop and see what's going on in the studio today. Did manage to find some brick clay. Um, the kind of they use uh, for they use for flue or flue pipes in a chimney. And somebody wanted a bird bath. Said I either couldn't or wouldn't. I forget which it was, but since it was somebody I would ask a favor of as well, I thought we'd try it. Wow, brick clay. Oh. And this year I have not worked bigger than um, most things have been a pound. I have not worked bigger than um, three pounds, with only about four pieces being five pounds. Um, this is not going to be a demonstration on how to make a bird bath. This is not going to be pretty. I haven't done this for 25 years. Um, so we'll see if I can even do it. And I don't even remember then. I made big crocs making uh, a large... I never did platters. And I'm not 37 anymore either. And the brick clay, this is very stiff, even when I've thrown it before. And then this chair doesn't work either. It's nice and soft, but it's got wheels on it. It worked fine for little pieces. Um, so I think I'll have to put a foot back there to keep the chair in place. brick clay very stiff because it had been sitting in the bag for a number of years and it has very large pieces of grog in it. Oops, I can't put that foot back. That one goes on the wheel. So I tried one back here, as you can see, maybe. Um, 11 pounds though, I don't know, a bird bath should be fairly big, and it looks kind of small. So we're going to try putting a few more pounds on here and make it 15. Also, I've been recycling my clay a little bit at a time. Um, it makes that job a lot easier, but I emptied that out because I don't want to mix the brick clay in with the regular stoneware clays that I've been using.
that's a butt. As centered as I had the first one there. So maybe this is what it feels like to be a beginner and make your first pot. Because I don't think that's a regular technique to cut off what's not centered. to the end of my bat. And I don't know that I worked with 15 pounds of clay when I did make large pots. I, I did a lot of crocs. Um, planters, but um, I think maybe they were about 10 or 11 pounds might have been about it. Okay, let's see how thick we got the bottom. Um, yeah, about three quarters of an inch. Should be right because a bird bath should be, I guess, fairly thick. A little bit less, maybe. And yeah, we'll compress the bottom a little bit. If I didn't lose the rib. I'll go into it for a production run of bird baths if this makes it off the wheel yet.
you know what, I'm smoothing that off, but that's bringing up and out the grog, um, which is kind of heavy, so we might try to push it back in. Okay, now, I'm just using a little test kiln this winter, but it'll just barely fit 17 inches. I hope it'll just barely fit. I've got it loaded and firing today. Uh, maybe we try to give that a little push in. Oh, okay, it'll dry some, too. Um, shrink some while it's drying. Okay, so that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I could do it. Stop back. <laughs>